Well, it came about in the mind of the Premier of the province 30 years ago, and that was David Peterson. The amazing thing to me is that through a succession of governments over three decades, uh, these prizes have survived and I think flourished. A lot of people remark on the importance of luck in science, and I'm one of the people who remark on it because I have benefited so much from luck. But if you look around, you'll see that luck keeps striking in the same place, unlike lightning. In fact, in that connection, uh, we should boast of the fact that the three living Nobel Prize winners in Canada all did their work in Ontario, and all are currently living in Ontario. Receiving the prize has meant different things to me at different stages in my career. I think uh, the year I won it, uh, 1986, I remember it seemed like an enormous shot in the arm to a young researcher who uh, was only then just sort of emerging from the world of writing a PhD dissertation, not having a sense of how the research you do fits into the broader research enterprise. Winning this prestigious award, I think, really cemented in my mind the idea that I could uh, have a career in these fields here in Canada and in Ontario. To me, Professor Polanyi represents the highest form of uh, scientific excellence, academic integrity, and social um, uh, responsibility. So, um, and just to be associated with that is, is very important to me. So receiving the Polanyi Prize was obviously a massive personal boost, gives you a lot of confidence to feel like your research is being recognized. So that kind of honor is rare for early career researchers. There are many career awards that are handed out towards the end of one's career for all of their accomplishments. And the Nobel Prizes fall into that category, often for, for major contribution that was made many years in advance. So there are not so many awards for junior researchers, for people starting out. And I think for early career researchers, having that kind of boost can really encourage you in your research. I think in today's world where a pursuit of academic excellence uh, almost requires one to live life uh, uh, like a global citizen, travel constantly, spend quite a bit of, of time at work occasionally, also leave a few things behind. This award uh, provided an attestation that our efforts in creating uh, platforms uh, for improved health are not uh, recognized by the province of Ontario. Receiving this prize has been very helpful in my career, in my research, because it has um, grounded me in terms of what I would like to be and, and inspired me to be a better researcher in person. And I think that's the value of these kinds of awards. I remember a phase in which uh, colleagues in my discipline, several of them who I knew very well, won the prize. And that meant they formed a kind of a fellowship around winners of the Polanyi Prize that crosses uh, disciplinary boundaries, of course. So that was good too, because in another way that's sustaining to feel you're part of a group of researchers who have achieved a similar level uh, in their work, but also are able to share with each other a, a sense of their experience as researchers. But on top of that, as a woman in science, I think that we often are hesitant to put ourselves out there. We may not feel confident enough to nominate ourselves for these kinds of awards, but our research is important. It is, it is on the same level as everyone else, even if we don't necessarily feel it. So as a woman in science, I strongly, particularly encourage women to apply for this award. Uh, I strongly believe that uh, um, having been a laureate of this award has helped me secure my current academic position where I'm dedicating uh, all of my effort uh, to the same vision that we put forward for this award uh, almost uh, seven years ago. I would certainly encourage other researchers, especially those early in their career, to apply for this award. Uh, obviously academia is a very crowded field and it's prizes like this that allow one to stand out uh, above the crowd. I would strongly encourage other researchers to apply to this and the reason is the process of thinking about your work to date and what you want to accomplish in the future is really valuable and it gives you a sense of your purpose, why you're doing it, and it's, it's a great exercise and it, it helps you um, organize your thoughts and your research and your future plan and the impact of your research. To be successful in the competition for the prize then opens up all kinds of possibilities, contacts, connections, 
and that sense of being part of the research enterprise which is hard to come by early in one's career, I would definitely encourage people to apply. You're standing with a group of people of this kind of caliber and it's, it's, uh, it inspires me to try to keep going and, and continue to, to, to push along and, and think of the long game.